look, you know, they say any press is good press, even if it's bad press, as long as the news media is covering you. Well, we're going to show you how to generate good press. That's going to give you low to no cost advertising for your businesses, products, services, or events. All that's going to happen in a uh, best 30 minutes of your day. But before we start and engage with you, our home team, go ahead and hashtag uh, home team so you can be ready for the first place pony. Let's, let's just get started the, with the five just, minute story. I was going to say, let's just do the five minute story time because TWP Popcorn is in here saying what's popping and of course we have one of our favorite moderators gail at night saying good morning to everybody she's got the coffee brewing y'all know when you put in hashtag the home team you can win free coffee from our signature coffee company rolljava.com so corey let's head on into the five minute story time get this thing rolling because we have some good stuff to talk about today the afromex family is ready for it happy new year to you all right they say, if you build it, they will come. But there are also times when people say, even if you build it, they, they, that doesn't mean that anybody's gonna show up. And that's exactly what was happening with this particular production. You see, there was a business that was actually in the business of creating theatrical performances with a, with a musical flair for the community. They were up against some pretty stiff competition. There were all sorts of other businesses around doing similar things. And when this particular business decided to do it on their own, they were told it can't be done. They were told that you don't have the marketing power. You don't have the, the, the staff. You don't have the things that you need to make this a successful production. And they kept saying over and over again, it can't be done. The those, those entities were also coming and saying, hey, come do this for us. We'll do it for you. And we said, and they was saying, told them, no, we're not going to do that. We are going to do this and we're going to push this ship on our own and we're going to sail across this ocean that you call impossible. As, we, as, as the production neared, ticket sales were, were beginning to come in. Left, right, left, right, left, right. All the people were calling, sending emails asking questions and the steam began to grow behind what the event it was the day of the opening of the show and when the doors opened people flooded into the theater to see this wonderful event and when all was said and done newspaper cameras were there flashing news teams were calling and setting up interviews there were even people from the city hall and city council coming and asking questions about how to make this an ongoing process. And at that time, it was proven by two people that the impossible was possible. When the Queen of Marie encouraged me to produce a play script that I wrote, writ, the wrote the very first play, <laughs> bad English there, the very first play script I ever had written and ever produced called Roots of the Withered Tree. Mm -hmm. And that's how we prove that using news media effectively with press releases, press kits, PSAs, and promotional ticket sales were the keys to success for any business. And that you were was gonna... the end of that. Hey, I thought you were gonna say that is how you wrote and produced Three Blind Mice Against All Odds. Well, the first play was Roots of the Withered Tree, but Three Blind Mice Against All Odds is what we're gonna talk about today mm -hmm. because today it's all about how we use the effective <laughs> business, the effective news media to cover to get our business promoted through creating several different events around Three Blind Mice Against All Odds. Well, you know, JD, JPWR, one of our favorite sponsors is here. He's a wish list sponsor. He's a sponsor, sponsor, channel sponsor. We do appreciate you. We've got great things coming down the pike thanks to your support and input. And when I say great things, y'all will hear about it. You know that we're giving out free coffee. So if you'll hopefully you've done, Afromax has done this along with JPWR, put it in hashtag the home team. Lord knows, let me cover up the gray. Corey, I thought I had camouflaged my hair well enough to cover this up. Anyways, I'm gonna finish talking. Y'all tell me if y'all can still see the gray. Ooh, that's a little better. Hey, anyway, so Gail at Night is dropping all the links. As she says, happy new year to everyone. 
uh, of course, Afro Max is like, okay, okay, that's it. That is fire, right? So here's what happens, y'all. Here's what happens, you all. A press release can not only help you to promote all things good. Thank you, Afro Max. You put in hashtag the home team. You might win some coffee coming right there to Texas to your door. And she is Nigerian, so you know we got a favorite Nigerian oil. Anyway, you can do this, y'all. Write your press release. This one particular product. Now, Corey said that was his first. That was my first play production. And we continued that model even up through the to, into current times. But with the but this right here, against all eyes. Mm, we're going to use this as the model to explain to you how a press release can work it out. Y'all see behind us. there how can work it out. And how press releases. How promotional prizes can work it out. PSAs promotional prizes all three p's are going to get you money y'all we still receive royalties for this production for the production right here behind us safari all of our all of our creations we still receive royalty payments and it all starts with a press release okay and the press release is going to start here's your nugget before we get the show started take plenty of pictures plenty of videos and any events or anything that's going on with your particular business because that's how you're going to capture the visual attention of those people those journalists those editors that make decisions on those gatekeepers that make decisions on whose content is going to be put in the newspaper or get into the radio station for a, a, a interview or get on to the news tv news station for an interview it all starts with being able to tell a compelling story through a press kit through a through a press release, through a public service announcement, or oh, and through all right, Corey, giving you already said that. Let's just show them what we're talking about. Okay, so this particular dinner, the, uh, this particular project, three blind mice against all odds, uh, we were covered by the you know the mom on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, not the first one, the second mom, Daphne Maxwell Reed. Daphne Maxwell Reed. So what we're going to do before we officially open the show, because y'all know we're only here thirty minutes, we're just gonna hit it and quit it, give y'all the goods, and then keep it going. Uh, we're going to show you how, starting with the press release, uh, you'll see here, the beginning of this video, one of the first names out of her her mouth, the, the wife on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is Corey's name. Here we go. I'm going to unmute it so you all can see it for yourself. People with disabilities aren't just saying just different age. Oh, wait. With a loved one who has a disability. Y'all know I, I watch things in double time. Let me get my life together, Okay. Let me get to the playback speed as we'll do 1.25 because I can't listen to anything just in original motion. There she is, the mom off of uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Had a talent to captivate an audience. In high school, he was given weekly right. class time. Corey Staten always had a talent to captivate an audience. In high school, he was given weekly class time to tell jokes, stories, and do impersonations. After graduating high school in 1994, he suffered severe headaches and was diagnosed with pseudotumor cerebri, a condition that causes pressure in the skull and swelling of the optic nerve. Now, a shunt was placed in his brain to relieve the pressure, but it was too late. After the surgery, Corey awoke to complete darkness. Despite his blindness, Corey found a positive path. He combined his passion for music, dance, storytelling, and education in a program he founded with his wife called Atunthin Edutainment. All right, y'all, we are going to stop that just for right now because y'all, that was in our younger days. Look at Gail at night. She says, cute, fo cute photo of y'all <laughs> in the background. Yes, girl, that was that was about seven years ago, eight years ago, I can't remember. But you know, Thorhaven Farm is here saying hello. And as you see, yes, the gods have been smiling on us. I hope they've been smiling on you up there in Canada. I know you're getting your farm ready and you guys are really getting ready to be self-sufficient with your goats and everything. We're really proud of you. And so, mighty Thor. yes, absolutely. Gail is saying hello to Thor Haven Farms. So y'all, what we're telling you is that that particular event that we just showed y'all, Max, Daphne Maxwell Reed, she has our information on the screen. She's talking about Corey Staten and his wife. That all started with a press nice release. Absolutely. So of course- and To this day, if we encounter, and we've encountered her at other events, it's always stop what she's doing, run over a hug, talk chit chat so yeah because we met her in other in other places as well so it's not just it wasn't just you know this particular time y'all start your press release go ahead Corey. were you gonna say something else because we gotta start the yeah, show let's say we're gonna start the show Corey, there you go look you was young back then <laughs> <laughs> all right ready 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was watching the video. Okay. Well, let's go, let's go, let's start the show with our real talk with Entabi Design intro. Absolutely. Let's start the show. It's another episode of a blind guy. It's why it's here. Yeah, it's why it's here. Hey, let's right. get into it. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Corey the Blind Guy. I'm his wife, Laquita Marie. Together, we let you into our life live every hump day. Bang, bang to Friday. That's Wednesday. Thursday. Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we change the narrative of normal about health, nutritional health, business resources, and wealth building tools. And today, we're going to talk to you about the power, uh, how the best marketing strategies for 2023, and how to create creative press releases, how to use PSAs and promotional prizes to get news coverage to your business. Now, keep in mind, we are talking about not just news coverage, but we're talking about how to make sure you get paid. We are talking about business resources because business resources, business means money, right? It means revenue. It means income. It means sustainability and legacy. That's where we're telling you about ways to constantly get revenue into your business. It starts with a press release. These are ways that we've been able to constantly get revenue into our businesses. And it's all, these are also ways to uh, leverage the, <laughs> uh, leverage different media outlets and cut costs in your marketing budget budget because you know, creating a press release and getting or a PSA or giving out promotional prizes to media outlets is low to no cost for advertising for your business that you don't have to, that can save you money in your marketing budget. Y'all know we do have a press release for you today. That means when you put in, when you type in blindguystories.com forward slash press release guide, you can download a free guide that we've created just for you. It's not behind a paywall. It's not behind an email list. Y'all know we don't get paid just from giving information to you. We don't collect your email address. If you want to connect with us, you know how to do it. Scrolling at the bottom of the screen, blindguyhiswife.com. That's how you can connect with us. You can contact us and all of those good things. We're going for the people that have the money. These huge places like Ikea, Chipotle, uh, the Jewish the Jewish uh, Community Center, all these different places that have the funding. I'm showing you right now the template that you all can download today. Put in blindguystories.com forward slash press release guide. It is in the video description. That's just one of the ways that we've been able to finance our companies our businesses, especially Oxen Pond Edutainment. So of course, Thor Haven is laughing at you with the bangs, Corey. <laughs> but Prepper 101 is tuning in from uh, Cell Block C, Tier 9, I forget. <laughs> but he's saying good morning, family. And of course, TWP is chatting it up with everybody. TWP Popcorn has already put in yeah, hashtag the home team. team. That's what we're about to do, our first giveaway. We always, almost always have two in these shows. Our first giveaway, we're giving away coffee. So make sure you're putting in hashtag the home team. Thor Haven Farm says that's a great idea. Look, we showed you the first video where Daphne Maxwell Reed was introducing Corey. Now, Daphne Maxwell Reed is Tim Reed's wife, celebrities. The mom on the Fresh Prince, the second mom on the Fresh Prince. Tim Reed, if you don't remember him, he was the dad on Sister Sister with the two twins, T and Tamara. Absolutely, yes. Oh yeah, that's who he was. Yep. Uh, uh, those are the folks. So our whole point is, if you're somebody like Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters, hey Dr. Brenda, one of our favorite Nigerians. Hey Dr. Brenda. She is saying good morning, fam, and happy New Year. If you're like her, you have a business and you want to continue the revenue, you want to increase your revenue streams. You want to let people know what your business is doing. Start with some of these best marketing strategies. A press release will get you so far. We've given you all the template. It's in the description. Put in hashtag the home team because this ain't the rig phony like Wally First Media says. It's the first place pony. But we got Supernova, one of our yeah, favorite OGs. <laughs> So happy to have you here, Sonovia Ridley. We don't know where you are because y'all know she's a world traveler. She's in Ghana, she's in the States, and y'all know. I ain't gonna tell y'all where she works. I'm gonna just say, you know, she gonna keep you in check or not. Thank you for Little Ruby's Daycare Encounter. She says, just in time to win. Yes, first place pony is still winning coffee from rolljava.com. That means that when you go to blindguyhiswife.com, you can always buy us a coffee. You can click the green coffee cup. However, uh, you can become a member. 
However, you can scroll down and buy yourself a coffee. This is our coffee company, rolljava.com. Uh, you can always scroll through here. You can go to the full site, click that red button that says click for all coffee options. You can find whatever coffee blend you like, or you can win the first place pony and get some free coffee. We're glad to have you here, Sonovia. And hey, DJ Is is in the running. DJ Is, thank you for hashtagging the home team. DJ Is had a, a great live stream where he was showing the benefits of having your own backyard, having random seeds drop, having ganja just grow. But I ain't, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'll say. Corey, let's give them insight into public service announcements before we do the first place pony because we gotta give away some coffee. You, I know you're excited and we jumped ahead. We jumped all over the press release because we wanted to give you the ins and outs on how to create an effective press release okay. to get yourself to slash your marketing budget and save money in your marketing budget and also to generate revenue by bringing attention to your business. Press releases are not hard. You just gotta be slightly, be slightly creative and just remember to answer these questions. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. That's what press releases are? That's press releases are. And you can find that in our template at blindguystories.com forward slash press release guide. Of course, we do have it here on the page. So you have some sample paragraphs here yeah, because I noticed that online, they would just say, use this paragraph to say, but you actually uh, gave the headline, grab the reader's attention at a glance, kicking grass, free lawn care for seniors. So you gave them examples in here. So you answered the who. So uh, in this template, you, uh, we actually answer the who, the what, the when, the where, and the how in the order supposed to come. Uh -huh. See, press releases start out with a catchy, eye ca with an eye-catching uh, statement that's going to grab the reader's attention because it's usually going to go to a journalist or an editor of a certain part of a certain newspaper or a TV station or a radio station, and you want to get them to want you want them to call you for a deeper interview. So Love and Live Show, Queen Lenora, if you want people to know that you give the best advice on relationships and business, because you have a business, you can do a press release on relationship advice, on businesses, on your hot sauce, your headlines, on your teas. Sexy sauce. Ooh, hot sauce and relationship advice. You hear that, Lenora? You know what, Corey? Uh, Prepper 101 says, OJ had a great business strategy. After that Bronco ride, OJ sales went up 93% worldwide. <laughs> the man knew what he was doing. I know, right? The man knew what he was doing. <laughs> so definitely, like I said, when you're doing your press release, start with that catch eye-catching headline, and then follow up with the subtitle that gives the main idea of the article. And you want to keep your press release to three paragraphs. Three mm. paragraphs. The opening paragraph, the company narrative paragraph, and then you want to do your call to action. Absolutely. Call to action, Corey. First place pony. Wait, wait, wait. I was supposed to ask you because Zenobia is saying this is interesting. And Love and Live Show says she likes that sexy sauce. Girl, mm -hmm. we are here for you. Corey, think of one for her book as well because you know she's an author. Um, and she and look, Thor Haven says, who doesn't like sexy sauce? <laughs> exactly. Y'all know Thor Haven claimed he's gonna uh, try to drink less this year. Now stop drinking. Just drink less because he drinks a lot of wine in his videos. If y'all want to know about some good wines, go go up to Canada. So here's Which your headline. Hate? Here's your headline. Okay. For you. Love, yes, love in the hot tub. Yeah, I don't know no, if y'all no. saw that. Love. Viking love in the hot tub. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw that hot tub video where Thor, I swear he was naked in that video, y'all. I don't know how he put this up on regular t YouTube, but here's my point. If he's doing love in the hot tub and we're talking about press releases and PSAs as, as, um, uh, Way to save for marketing, save marketing dollars, and to also what's the difference? Revenue. Now, the difference between a press release and a PSA is this: press releases you can advertise in or promote any type of part of your <laughs> business for whether it's a ticketed event, whether it's a product that you're selling, a new product that you're selling that's going to benefit the customer base, or whether it's a uh, service that you're promoting. You can do that even if there's money involved, a payment uh -huh. involved. However, with a PSA, a public service announcement, the keyword is public service you have to be promoting something in a psa that's a service to the public you still oh, answer so this is where when we were doing the drumathon mm -hmm. um we had a trailer created for us on our differently able able theater remember we told y'all corey he created three blind mice against all odds y'all know corey can't see he is blind and as a storyteller he said let me create a story about the three blind mice uh let me adapt it and all of that so not only did we create a dinner theater uh, experience, 
but we had a drum experience around it. Now we had somebody create this trailer for us where we talked to different people who had were differently able. Like the girl you just saw, she was used as a wheelchair. There are other people that use wheelchairs like Kelly right there on screen. There was actually a drummer there that was completely deaf, but was learning how to play by watching my hands. And she by, was, yes. And by feeling the vibrations of the drum. Now, now this is the thing, Corey. When we say PSAs, are we talking about pizza, sandwiches, and applesauce? Public service. <laughs> Compress uh, no. Purple 101. <laughs> That's what you want us to pay for in your canteen fund, right? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Stan, so please send assistance to Prepper 101. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, public service announcement. Again, it has to be a free service or event. Now, this event was free. That's going to actually service the community. With this, As y'all see, this service the community. We were uh, at a local place, but you also want business revenue. Remember, y'all, I told you we are still getting royalty payments for this particular CD, Three Blind Mice Against All Odds, as well as the one you see behind us, Safari. And so... This is the way you get it done, right? And so look, uh, Prepper 101 says, I seen my homegirl Cherie. No, nah, that was not Cherie from Black's Tropical. That was actually Kelly's choice, his mom on the screen. Y'all, this was seven, eight years ago. And Zenobia says, this is beautiful. Let me tell you, these are some beautiful experience that you can capitalize on the stage play. This is the rehearsal for the stage play that we also produced out of this. So of course we got paid for the stage play. We secured funding for the Prepper 101 is saying, nice job, Corey. And y'all see all the actors there. Some of those actors are also the voice, voices of the characters on the CD, Three Blind Mice, now, Against All Odds. Now the cool and Prepper thing, says, oh man, she could be her twin. Yeah, yeah they, do look, they do look similar, don't they? Now, the cool thing about PSAs, again, public service announcements. We were able to send out a public service announcement to the radio stations and the TV news stations about this event, this mm -hmm. this this dinner theater drumathon, and drum we circle. included these and trailers we, that were created as part of that. Well, they came to the, they actually promoted the event and actually got us on the radar too. And we, there's nothing stopping you from creating a free public service event and using that to promote a paid event. This is what we use this drum circle for. Let's promote the Three Blind Mice Dinner Theater. Absolutely. So, Corey, which is a ticketed event, which was a ticketed event. So again use these free marketing strategies like press releases public service announcements and right after the first place pony we'll get into the promotional prizes because that's another one that you can use as a marketing strategy that will keep get you paid and keep you paid mm -hmm. so you know uh love and live show says you guys are amazing i love that theater is my heart i know are we seeing your your uh your play, stage play production i love that you're posting different clips and different chapters of the play so that you're releasing it a little at a time. I watched it when you first uh, promoted, when you put the whole thing out and now you're promoting all the different parts. Yes. Yeah, you and Thorhaven need, need to team up. Sexy sauce, Viking love in the hot tub. You know That'll what? be a dynamic play. Y'all doing too book, much. Y'all doing too much. Let's just get to the first place pony because we're about to wrap this show up, y'all. So. That means that if you put in hashtag the home team, you might win some roll java coffee. I'll make the horse race announcement. When I say bring, that's when I make the gate sound bring. But okay. you're going to push, say and they're off and click the button to start the race. Got it. I'm ready. Let's go for it. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another run of the blind guy, his wife, their life live. First place pony derby. All right. All I got a feeling Juicing with Jay is going is in the running. Good all, job, Juicing with Jay. You might win some coffee. Juicing. <laughs> Jay, why is Prepper one of one tomorrow? Did I win? You're not yet. We didn't run it. <laughs> All the jockeys are mounted and ready to ride. Laquita Marie. Yes. What would Thorhaven say before he to his clothes before he jumps into the hot tub? Bring. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And they're off. TWP popcorn. Prepper, Prepper one on one. Hey, Wiley First Media is in there. DJ is Love and Live Show. Afro Max. Little Ruby's Daycare Encounters. Prepper one on one. Afro Max. Prepper one on one. D. D. Hold on. Uh oh. What happened? Did we come back? We glitched a little bit in the matrix, but uh Wally was saying the fix is in. David Hunt tried to get in at the last minute, 
but we already have a winner. We've proven that strategy does not work. Just being the last person. (laughs) No, no, no. That actually kind of works. You got to, I'm not going to tell the secret. I'm not going to tell the secret. Prepper 101 is congratulating. DJ is, you know what to do to get your coffee. Not just accept congratulations from the Love and Live show. Lord, Juicing with Jay is now saying it's rigged too. Tomorrow, the game is fixed. <laughs> Thank you, Thorhaven Farm, for congratulating right along with Prepper 101 telling us we're back. Woo, we was in the Matrix again, David Hunt. Thank you for that. But y'all saw who won. Uh, DJ it is. is. So yes. DJ is. Go to blindguyswife.com. Fill out our winner's circle form, and then we'll be sending you some coffee. Yes, and thank you, Wally, because you told us to upgrade the laptop. I did some work on it yesterday. I've got to take it back in again today. So thank you for your help, Wally. We do appreciate it, Wally Verse Media. Prepper 101, talking about the fixes, and I came in third. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? TWP Popcorn is shouting out the DJ is who needs to claim his prize. Go to this link. Gail at night has dropped it blindguyhiswife.com forward slash broadcast claim your prize there on the winner's circle because jbwr one of our favorite sponsors JBWR. and our wish list sponsor is saying congrats to dj is which I gotta do this. takes us to our coffee time. break jbwr you know what <laughs> Corey? let's thank the people let's hey thank guys, our sponsors guys if you did not win today's first place point to get your free coffee hey don't worry there's always a chance to get coffee just join our coffee club join our membership there are three different affordable levels each mm-hmm. with different unique perks and you can also get exclusive access to exclusive content as well as get your caffeinated conversation on with us rigged so- against we didn't land on plymouth rock plymouth rock landed on <laughs> us dj david Knight got a new a new rig statement okay. <laughs> y'all dj is one of the free coffee uh however right now with the coffee break we're going to show you where to go to join the membership we told you go to blindguyhiswife.com if you want to buy your own coffee get some if you want to just join the membership scroll on up right here to join the home team buy me a coffee membership right here members get more Three easy levels, member shout outs, past membership, exclusive chats, coffee discounts, and free coffee, depending on which level you you um, signed up for. We do appreciate everyone who's bought us coffee by clicking right here. Corey has been blind over 25 years, so often we'll show how to purchase 25 coffees. But thank you so much, JBWR, Ruby Cranston, JBWR, Kelly Johnson, Sonovia, Ridley. We appreciate you all. What about... Our other sponsors, Corey. This broadcast is called- David Hunt says he just tell it like he, like he sees it. Mm-hmm. And Wally Burst Media, who is Plymouth Rock? Bruh, mm-hmm. if you don't get back to the movie and get the answer, <laughs> go ahead, Corey. This broadcast is powered by StreamYard and our viewer support by members like you. you. And also it's powered by promotional considerations that have been paid for by the following unmuted sponsors. Thank you to our sponsors. We definitely appreciate your support. We appreciate all that you do. And of course, uh, we have to say thank you. So- Here's to our sponsors. Uh, I guess I should show the audience the video before I start playing it, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me do that. (laughs) Oh, wait, they're muted. There we go. (laughs) Supreme sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme sponsor, JBWR. Check out his YouTube channel. Supreme sponsor, Ruby Grandison. Wishlist sponsor, Tasha Oshi Groves. Check out her YouTube channel. Wishlist sponsor, Sharon Marie Watson. Check out her YouTube channel. Wishlist sponsor, JBWR. Check out his YouTube channel. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife. Just like that. That's all you have to do. Thank you so much, uh, Gail at Night, for dropping the link to our sponsors. We appreciate them. And of course, G Mama Grows, thank you so much for being here. (laughs) Corey, we have to, we're about to get out of here. We're right at our 30 minute mark coming up on it. And so we've got to get into our plant based treat. But not before we talk about promotional prizes. Mm, a lot of times you have to another play. marketing strategy, strategy that will bring revenue to your business. As brought it to ours, we've been giving you examples. So, guys, 
if you hit some, a lot of times you have to purchase radio ads in order to when people are giving away prizes on the radio station you just can't walk up to them and say hey i want to donate this you got to purchase some ads radio ads are tricky because you want to get purchase your ads during the morning drive or the evening drive that's prime time but of course those are more expensive slots so what you can do is you can actually buy some, a few ads in the morning drive and the evening drive and then offer a set amount of giveaways whether it's products <laughs> gift certificates or tickets to an event that puts your name and your business in more rotation and gets the, gets your um, business name into people's ears on a more regular basis than just maybe the four to eight ads that you're able to can afford to purchase. Mm -hmm. And what happens is once you give your products away or give your service away, you also generate some customer loyalty because when people try your products, word of mouth is still the best advertisement because when we gave away tickets to one of our to our performances, our shows, people would bring other people because they were going. They would have other people calling. Hey, I didn't win the tickets, but I want to know how I can still buy some. So bits and pieces with Sassy Sasonia. So happy to see you. Definitely, it's been a long time, but we know everybody's busy. You all are creators, and this is why we're bringing this information to you. We know that you're out there putting in the work, just like G Mama Grows, just like Wally Burst Media. And so that means that what you do with this information, if you have a business, if you have something you want to promote, you can also use marketing this free marketing strategy where it will cost you something that you already have because you're saying with the radio station you're giving away tickets that you or need products, to, or yeah. products that you might already have so for us we uh do a lot of different productions and whatnot stage play productions uh cd productions of course we're showing today how we've used promotional prizes we had this cd we had to get so many copies pressed and printed anyways, because this was like, what, seven years ago that we did this. Mm -hmm. And so we said, oh, let's give some away on the radio. And this way, if you are, the radio will do the giveaways. It didn't cost us anything. We already had the product. And so of course, if you're trying to figure out how to do a press release, we have created a guide for you. There are sample paragraphs and all of those good things in there. So thank you, Gail at Night, for also posting that. Uh, you know, one last thing that I do want to mention with these uh, three best marketing strategies, Corey, is that we're talking about uh, three blind mice against all odds, right? So let's go right here to our website, Atuhan Entertainment. That's one of them. Our performance camp we created. Uh, we have the audio book here that people could purchase, which is this particular CD in an audio version. Uh, also, what's in a camp kit? a camp kit to run my camp we sell to different places a full-fledged um curricula so we created the curricula we used it that's what's happening in this particular video right here the curricula so this way these are the performance highlights from the camp people can see well what was happening at this camp what can i do you know with this information how can i use it they can listen to the audiobook, they get the guide, they see that we had all these people here running this camp and we can bring it to them or they can implement it themselves. You're welcome. Sonovia Ridley says, thank you for the press release. Absolutely. Sonovia, whatever business your daughter is running, whatever you're running, you all can use it. When next time you go to Ghana, you can use the template there because we know that their business practices on the continent are stellar. And so, yes, use it wherever you can. Make sure you, sh sure you share it, give it to someone. And y'all, this was uh, several years ago where we had different groups involved. We had volunteers, all of this from the marketing strategies that we're telling you today. Press release, promotional prizes, and PSAs, public service announcement. That's how we got the police there to run part of the camp. That's how we got- the Police just follow you everywhere you go. You know what? <laughs> See, uh, let's let's move on to uh, getting out of here, Corey. How do we say goodbye? Because this this show is done. Gail at night is telling them if y'all want to become an affiliate for Three Blind Mice Against All Odds or Three Little Pigs, we even provide that opportunity to you. Again, the whole point is bringing revenue into your business. So having affiliate products, absolutely. Having products uh, that you promote through press releases. And we gave you the guide, PSAs, PSAs, public service announcements, and and promotional prizes. Absolutely. So, guys, before we get out of here, remember keep those cameras rolling. Whenever you have, whenever you're at your business or you your event, business has an event 
or there's something going on that you want to promote, take pictures, take pictures, take pictures, take video clips, mm. because you're going to use all these things to catch the attention of the media from press releases, PSAs, and to generate promote or surprise. All right, so we're getting out of here because G Mama Grows is I'll catch y'all later in these YouTube streets. Let's do the plant based treat to get out of here. All right, here we go. It's time. For today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. Keep in mind, y'all, it's uh, the cold season where we are. You definitely need to wet your whistle. My voice still isn't what it needs to be, but here's how I remedy that. Traveling tea power blend. Nettle, oat straw, raspberry. We even have chamomile. Nettle improves prostate health with its anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, and antiviral effects. Water warming up here on the stove. Raspberry leaf contains an alkaloid that can make for an easier, less painful childbirth. I'll just slice a few pieces of our ginger. There we go. This is still very warm. Typically, I will let it cool. The polyphenols in oat straw are anti-inflammatory, cancer-fighting antioxidants. Well, this is where you can make your tea even more magical by adding some black seed oil, by adding some malain, and by adding some lemon. Malain relieves bronchitis, asthma, tuberculosis, and other respiratory conditions. Of course, you can use your honey or you can use your sugar. Black seed oil had too many benefits to list. Google it. Of course, you've got your magic spoons so that your tea um, is automatically filtered. Fresh ginger can help protect your lungs from the effects of cold, flu, and other respiratory viruses. We're gonna make a super simple tea or drink that you can have every single day by simply taking a lemon, black seed oil, and some honey or sugar. I like the tea. It was sweet, but you, it smelled like black seed oil, but it didn't taste like it. This one, you can drink just like this, or you can do one of my favorites. Malayne heals your lungs. All right, y'all. You know, G-Mama Grows has been growing mullen as well. And I, I say Malayne, but it's mullen. Everybody says mullen. G-Mama Grows has videos harvesting that. And I'm sorry, Wally First Media. He's a, it's only 10 minutes to 12. This show isn't over. It is. Y'all go to plantbasedtreats.org for the full playlist because we got to go. Juicing with Jay is laughing because <laughs> me and my... Look, black seed oil had too many things, y'all. Google it. How do we get out of here today, Corey? All right, guys, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn. Follow us on LinkedIn. Thank you, Sonovia. And when you follow us on LinkedIn, we will follow you back. Oh, can. so that way we can uh, so also live stream to there. LinkedIn is, that's what you do, LinkedIn Live. So follow us on LinkedIn so we can get you into LinkedIn Live as well. So with that being said, Bravo with Sheila, ladies. Let's chat. Hey, hey. Hey, Bravo with Sheila. We are going <coughs> to... With that we're gonna say goodbye the same way that let's see while it's talking about the fix is in and and love and lift show has her own brand of teas so she's saying okay. she is making that today mm. All right, there you go there you go you didn't miss us you are here sheila hey <laughs> so and that, thank you for your support sheila we appreciate the coffees thank you so with that being said we're gonna say goodbye the same way queen lenore love and live show would say goodbye to Anybody that asks her good to, Wally, thanks for LinkedIn to donate one million bottles of hot sauce for oh, a good cause. She, she would say, say Deuces. <laughs> Deuces. <Bye. laughs>